pay close attention because this is what happens when you bring a pencil to a gunfight what's up guys this is mark with improve your kd and we want to improve every single day happy new year you guys hopefully you guys are ready for a great 2018 now let's get into five tips to get better at fortnite check this out you guys many gamers want to be great at games and they want to be great fast but they don't realize you still have to put in the work you still have to be terrible before you can be amazing so i got five tips for you guys and number one learn the buttons if you are playing this game on console or on pc you will realize really quickly that you will need to press quite a few buttons and combinations under pressure the first thing you need to do is learn the buttons this way when you're in an intense gunfight or you're running for your life you don't look like this That was embarrassing, but either way it goes, before the match, you normally have anywhere from 15 to 30 seconds to run around. Use that time to work on your buttons. Press the building button and act like you are building something really quickly. This will help you get your fingers together for the real situation. Number two, aim better. You can be amazing at using the buttons. But if your shots are not hitting the target, then you are going to lose gunfights left and right. Before a match, you can grab a weapon and shoot it at other players. During the match, use your weapon to shoot at distant trees and rocks. This could really help you understand the recoil pattern. Also, you could try moving while you shoot in order to get your strafe skills better. I find it kind of hard to strafe shoot, but it can be done. Also, get into gunfights. You will have to learn the hard way, no matter what, no matter how much you prepare. Players maneuver in strange ways, and you will need to experience it to learn from it. Aiming better is very important. It's just like in real life. If you have a weapon, and you want to get good at shooting that weapon, you have to go through target practice. You have to practice shooting the weapon. You have to do different things in order for you to be better in different situations number two wait num number three number three loot for building supplies you have to get the building supplies many times you will get building supplies from the people that you defeat but sometimes you actually need building supplies to defeat someone so just make sure that you're prepared I remember when I started playing, I was afraid to chop down the trees and break the stones down. Sometimes I just didn't even think about it, but mainly it was because I was afraid that it would make too much noise. So that's one thing I had to overcome. Doing these things really does end up helping you in the long run. Many times I just chop my way out of a building. Like, okay, the storm is coming. I need to go that way. The only thing in between me and that way is this wall. So I just take down every wall that's in the way of me going towards that direction. Like, I mean, something as simple as that will get you some building supplies. This directly leads me to number four. Learn to build. Build. Build to get in a better position. Build to create a safe zone. Learn to build to protect yourself while you're falling. Learn when to build and learn what to use and when. For example, if someone is shooting at you, then it may be time to build a wall. Many people build stairs as well so that they can get a higher ground and get in a better position that helps eliminate the enemy that is trying to attack you. You can also build a small fort in order to protect yourself while you use bandages, med kits, or potions. I even build when I'm about to drop from a cliff. I can build something to land on to prevent me from hurting myself or even dying from the fall. But you gotta be careful with that because sometimes I still hurt myself. Building in Fortnite is very important. You gotta learn how to do it. You gotta learn when to build at what time. 
Number five, learn to survive. Make sure you notice the little things and the obvious things. If you notice that the doors to this house is closed and the weapons have not been taken, pay attention. Is the ammo gone? If so, there may be someone still there or close by. Pay attention to detail. And then pay attention to the obvious. Is the door open to the house? Okay, someone could possibly be in there, obviously. Learn that when you land, you need to find a weapon. That is possibly the first priority when landing. Learn when to and when not to engage. If they are at a distance and you don't believe you will kill them, make sure that you don't engage because not only will you not kill them, but other people will know where you're shooting from. Pay attention to your surroundings and your environment. That's very key. Like sometimes I'll notice a tree being chopped down. I'll see the leaves like explode in the air. Like just pay attention to stuff because that'll let you know where someone is. And also jump while you're sprinting. That way a sniper doesn't get you so quickly. They may hit you in the body, but that's better than getting one shot in the head. These are my top five ways to get better at Fortnite. Now, this is what I want you to understand. When I say get better at Fortnite, I'm talking about the fundamentals. These are the tools you're going to need in order to be consistent. Many times we watch the videos that tell us how to come in first place, but you're following these tips and tricks before you get the fundamentals down pat. That is the most important thing. Get the fundamentals because it's one thing to get lucky and end up being number one but then there's a whole different thing where you're convincingly one of the best i will soon be providing a video of how i consistently win in solo matches but first i have to learn how to consistently win in solo matches what all right you guys i appreciate you guys for watching if this helped you at all if this helped you enjoy your day at all please hit the like button i mean i want you to hit that like button and if you could please subscribe and i'd really appreciate it and you know your boy will be back with more videos so i guess i'll see you in the next one